it's LBS Honey. Welcome to another video. Today we are opening a giant package filled with LBS because I have a spending problem. Yay! Seriously though, can buy you like sponsor me or something so I don't have to pay for these packages because good lord, I have no money. But let's not dwell on the negative, shall we? Let's get straight into the package. So here's the box. Here's my LBS for size comparison large i feel like i'm on the titanic right now just leaning over the edge jack come back damn boy he's thick i'm pretty sure i could fit inside this box if i like contorted my body probably isn't the best angle but honestly it's all i have right now so oh is this gonna hit the camera oh <gasps> bro look how close that is hold up i need to come around from this side to open it so let me get in here I don't think you added enough bubble wrap or no. This package might be like 90% bubble wrap, but there's some smaller packages down here. So, bada bing, bada boom. I'll just take all of these out. And then we have this big box here. One more box down the bottom. A fun fact, pretty much all the LBS you're going to see in this video were ordered a few months ago and I was just holding them at Bayi's warehouse. So I'm very interested to see what's what. I'm assuming all of these like mint colored envelopes are from the same seller because there's one seller in particular that I ordered multiple LPS from. So let's start with this brown one here. I actually don't have my scissors with me at the moment. So I'm just going to use my knife and hope for the best. Um, hopefully I don't cut my finger off, but right now it ain't looking the best. Ooh, okay, I think this is like a little like bulk lot I purchased. So this was from Makari Japan, um, and it cost me, I believe, $9 in total for all of these LPS. So I thought that was a fantastic deal, especially considering there is a dachshund in here and oh, this golden retriever. Okay, let's get it open. So here's the first pet. It is this dachshund. I freaking love this little jacket. So I'm so happy to have another one because I do already have this jacket. But to have two, ugh. There's this greyhound, which I've seen quite a lot but never owned myself. So very happy to have him. These are all in really good condition so far as well. And I freaking love the color of his eyes. It's so pretty. There's this magic motion bunny. I did used to own one of these, but it was in super bad condition from the last owner. So happy to have another that looks really good. It does sound like that there's something loose inside the head. I'll shake it and hopefully you can hear it. He's got a screw loose, but don't we all? And thankfully his head still moves like it's meant to. Kind of creepy, but I like it. There's this pet, which I don't believe I own, so always happy to have another butterfly. There's this fuzzy penguin, which I didn't even know had these little orange marks on the side because I've never owned it. But he is a little dirty, which is kind of to be expected because these fuzzy LBS are like dirt magnets. But they're actually very easy to clean, so it shouldn't be too much trouble and overall he looks pretty decent besides the like fluff and dirt that's collected on him and lastly probably my favorite lps from this entire lot <sighs> the golden retriever the fuzzy golden retriever okay but this one unfortunately does have a little chip at the front there and some of the fluff is kind of like scraping away at the back nothing super major and thankfully the face looks pretty good so it's nothing I'm too worried about and honestly I have seen so many of the fuzzy golden retrievers in terrible condition because the fuzz just scrapes away but thankfully this one is pretty good and I'm very happy with it. So there she is. I love this pet so much. It's so pretty. Am I simping for an LPS? Maybe. Maybe I am, okay? It also came with some accessories like a mailbox and a ski, as well as some goggles and a coat hanger. Overall, for $9, I think this was an absolute bargain. They are in amazing condition, and to get a dachshund as well in that price range is just unbelievable. So, people, I am telling you, Makari Japan is where it is at for pre owned LPS. I have not seen a single bad condition LPS on Makari Japan. And of course, that's where I ended up getting my Japanese packaged LPS. If you remember last time, I also got them from Makari Japan. So 
definitely keep an eye out on Makara Japan for LPS because it is worth it. So moving along, I think these four are from the same seller. If they are, that means these packages are from Yahoo Japan Auction. So a different website, but I still used buy to purchase the items. Um, each package, I believe, should have one LPS in it. And that's because I like bid on a few different LPS auctions. And I actually won the four that I bid on and they were only like three or four dollars per pet. So I'm pretty happy with that. Thankfully, these kind of mailers rip open pretty easy, but let's get the first pet out. <gasps> oh, bro, we're on a golden retriever high today. I believe this is a bonus pet, golden retriever. And can we just appreciate the packaging? Okay, bubble wrapped and then in a little baggie. I don't know why, but I love the way LPS look in a baggie. It's just, it's my aesthetic, honestly. Here she is, and God, she is gorgeous. The head's popped up a little, but nothing too extreme, so I'm not that concerned about it. But the colors of this pet are just unbelievably beautiful. I love how it's a dark pet with light highlights. That just, ugh, it's, it's like blah, blah, blah. I think I just malfunctioned, but back to the LPS. She is just beautiful. I've wanted so many of the golden retrievers for so long, so now to get another two is just my dream slowly coming true. And can we just talk about the condition of these pets? Because this is a completely different seller and it's just as good. Next up, ba -ba, we have a little bull terrier. I actually do already own this LPS. I've not really used it in any videos and that's mainly because the one I have is kind of missing its tail but it is so nice to get a perfect pet like this and it feels super clean i wouldn't be surprised if these were disinfected before mailing because everyone's trying to stay safe at the moment and to get a pet this clean it's just really like comforting either way it's beautiful and another beautifully conditioned pet added to my collection next one is a chihuahua and honestly at this point i wish i had bought more from this seller i don't believe they're auctioning any more off unfortunately but i'm so glad that i got the ones i did because so far these have definitely been worth it here she is she's very similar to this chihuahua which i do already have but i am too lazy to get up so you're just gonna have to look at that picture but this one has purple eyes and i believe it's slightly lighter colored as well Ta-da! I actually only have maybe like two or three chihuahuas, so getting another one is always exciting because I rarely use them in videos because I just literally don't have any to show. So I'm very happy to get this one. This one does have a few dirt marks on the back. These are kind of like stubborn dirt marks, which I'm pretty sure I can get up. But besides that, super clean, super crisp. There's no chipping or anything. I freaking love these LPS. Oh my god. So let's move on to the final pet from this seller and then we can open the big box. Da -da 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 -da. And it is a husky. Much like two hours, I hardly own any huskies. So when I saw this little guy looking as good as he does, I knew I needed him. His head seems a bit popped up, but I probably could fix it with the hair dryer technique. But besides that, he is absolutely perfect. Honestly, I feel like huskies have this kind of like bad luck charm on them where their noses always get chipped. But look at it, it's just shining in the sun. And another thing, can we get some appreciation for dark brown pets? They are so beautiful, especially in photography. You get them in a good nature shot and it is just amazing. Also, appreciation for huskies on top of that because much like chihuahuas, I hardly have any huskies, so this is just heaven for me. So here's the four pets I got from our second seller. They were all bought individually and all won through auctions on a Yahoo Japan auction, but so, so, so worth it. They are gorgeous. Like I said, I think they all cost maybe like three or four dollars per pet, so really, really worth it in my opinion. And speaking of LPS, it's time for the biggest box that was inside. I am very excited about this package because it contains new in-box LPS, which I love as a collector. It's one of my favorite things to buy, especially when you can get them for a very nice price. These pets do not have the Japanese pink packaging, unfortunately. They are just regular LPS new in their box, but they were a really, really good price and I could not pass it up. So let's take a look. Okay, so we have some loose LPS and then a few pets in their packages. So I'm just gonna take everything out, remove all the bubble wrap, and then we'll take a look at everything. I'm 
not gonna lie, this box kind of smells like hot dogs, which is slightly concerning. So let's take a look at the loose pets first before we get into the boxed LPS. So I'm gonna go through these a bit quick because I mainly bought this pack for the LPS still in their boxes. But just from a quick first look, they all look to be in really good condition. Starting with this little spotty themed pig. There's this monkey. This mouse who looks like it's going through a midlife crisis. This grey bunny rabbit. Another little mouse. This little snail which has a really nice metallic shell. A puffin. These two fuzzy LBS. The chihuahua's in really great condition but the bunny has a few little stains on it. I'm not sure if I can clean it up but hopefully it's salvageable. And it also came with a little top hat. So moving on to the LBS in their boxes. These are the two smaller sets that were inside. I have this camping pack. Unfortunately because it's quite an old pack the elastics have kind of degraded over time and a few of the accessories have just yeeted themselves down the bottom. But inside you get this purple owl and this kind of panda bear at the back there. You can kind of see it behind the Kmart price tag. It's a really cute panda. I love how it looks in its box, but now that some of the accessories have fallen out, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it that way or not. But either way, it is always nice to see them in their packaging. It's a little trip down memory lane. I honestly miss the old LPS illustrations so much. They were so adorable. And the other pack is this light up dome. It of course doesn't light up anymore because the batteries have run out. And there's a bit of denting on the box. But overall, this looks really good. I will probably keep this one in its box. I just love how it looks with the whole stage set up and everything. And here is the back of the box. It's from the same kind of era as these pets because they have similar backings advertising the Playful Paws Pet Daycare. They're really cute pets in this pack. You get this Jack Russell and Panda. I do have the Panda out of the box so that's fine but I don't have the Jack Russell which is so tempting because I'd love to use it in a video but you're gonna stay here okay? You need to remain in here. You just look too good. With them done you're probably thinking hey honey you said those were the smaller packs. Why, well, yes I did, because let me introduce you to this big boy. This was 100% the reason I bought these pets, because this is the Target Exclusive Collector's Edition 10, and I'm in love with it. No joke, this is beautiful. So much like the camping set, a few of the accessories have gone haywire because of the degraded plastic over time. But overall, the pets have stayed nicely in their spots and most of the accessories are in their original spots. Save for like this mouse and like the drinks falling over in the back up there. But besides that, it looks really, really good. These are like golden day pets because the illustrations are really old. And of course, all the LPS in here have magnets still. Look how cute the side of the tin is. It's just Oh, so adorable. This is what the back looks like, which is technically the lid of this tin. And you can see it has actual LPS sets that were sold at the time. And here's the other side with some more illustrations of some of the very first pets Hasbro ever released. I wish Hasbro and honestly so many other companies put this amount of care into their products nowadays. I feel like it's all blind boxes and cheaply made products, but this, this is what's going to last, okay? These are going to just be cared for forever. Blind box items are going to be forgotten like that. Don't mind me, just going on a little rant. But I am going to be keeping these ones in their collector's tin. I think they look gorgeous in here. I don't want to change it. Even pets that I don't own, like this Cocker Spaniel, are so tempting to take out. But I'm going to leave it. I was so happy and surprised to see this for sale on Makari Japan because if you look this specific collector's edition set up, it goes for like 200 Australian dollars, which is crazy. So I'm just so incredibly lucky I was able to find it for cheap, pre-owned on Makari Japan. So can I just mention how much I love this crab? It actually doesn't look like that in the set. It's more of a pinky purple, but like... He's beautiful. Can I have him? Okay, but that was the last pack of pets I got in this buy package. So let's flash back to my regular filming space and we'll wrap it up from there. I don't know about you, but I am so impressed with those LBS, especially the ones that I bought loose out of their original packaging. The fact that they were so clean and not damaged is just amazing to me. So, huh. 
Thank you, Makari and Yahoo Japan auction sellers. I said before, this package was bought a few months ago, so I have been so eager to finally get it, and it was worth the wait. The pets are amazing, and I'm so glad that I ended up buying them because I'm always a bit hesitant to buy new LBS because you never know what the condition's gonna be like. But this time, I definitely lucked out and got some really amazing pets. Once again, I'll leave a link to Bai in the description down below. That's the proxy service I used to get these items. I am not sponsored in any way, but Bai, if y'all want to hit me up, just hit me up, bro. I'm always down. <laughs> but that's everything. Feel free to let me know which was your favorite pet. Personally, my favorites were the Golden Retrievers and the Collector's Tin. They are just the best. I can't stop looking at them. And after I end this video, I'm going to go sit in that cardboard box and cry. Because I am honestly going broke for LBS. It's amazing, but also the worst thing ever. So it's a double-edged sword. I'm sure my fellow LBS collectors can relate to that feeling. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like always, please don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. My hat's folding off. Ah!